flatworms. You love them. I love them. You hate them. We all think they're neat. I mean, what? Yeah, flatworms are everything it says in the name. They belong to the phylum platyhelminthes, which literally just means flatworm in Greek roots. There are about 25,000 species of these buggers and range in basically every tweak of the worm body plan imaginable. There are the turbellarians, aquatic or terrestrial slug-like critters. The trematodes, a massive grouping of parasites like the flukes and espidogastrians. Can't forget the tapeworms or cestoids because they're flatworms too. Many new records of alien flatworms, specifically from the planaria or geoplanetae groups, have been published over the last few years. These slimy boys are super flat, sluggy critters that are terrestrial predators of mainly invertebrates. They kill their prey by overtaking them by force and oozing digestive liquids all over them. Delicious. The ones we're calling alien are alien because they're popping up in places outside of the usual range of planarians. Some of these alien planarians are literally just displaced known species, but some of them are completely new species that are also displaced. Since they're new species, no one is 100% sure of their place of origin. Planarians have become something of an invasive pest. You know, I'm something of a scientist myself. Most of these alien planarians come from the genus Obama. Yep, that's right. There's a whole group of flatworms called Obama. You know what's funnier about that name? It's not named after Barack. It's actually a composited word from the Tupi words Oba for leaf and Ma for animal, which obviously refers to the group's body shape. You and I might find it annoying to be specific about binomial names, but when it comes to dealing with invasive species, getting the precise species designation down is of utmost importance. Sometimes, though, new species of alien planarians are found that belong to a higher diversity of genera. A new study published in February 2022 saw a team of French, Polish, Italian, and Australian scientists name two new species of alien planarians, and they're pretty nifty. The first species was found hunting snails in France and Italy with its mustache-shaped head and ebony sheen. It was originally named Diversi Bipolium Black because color and external anatomy was the most common way of describing new species of planarians. Turns out you need to euthanize them, slice them up in resin blocks, and look at those slices under the microscope to fully describe the internal anatomy in order to get a better identification of species. To be an even better scientist, you also need to take DNA samples and do some tasty molecular studies. It was with these more complex tests and a bunch more samples of this mystery species of Diversipipolium that the team found it was a new species of a different genus. This planarian, which was collected thanks to a citizen science initiative in the gardens of French and Italian citizens, was named Humbertium Covidum. When these little guys were collected in Italy, they were the only flatworms in the area. In France, they were found with Bipolium cuensi, which is the arrowhead flatworm characterized by a rich mushroom brown color and black pinstripes. The new species was found swarming in the earliest hours of the morning. They gave it the species name Covidum because of COVID, because the group of scientists that described them decided to get the ball rolling on the project during lockdown since they couldn't go out on field excursions and had these specimens waiting to be described. This species was originally distinguished by its black color, as the tag black would suggest. But when the genetic data came in, it turned out this new thing was in fact new and had a 2.5% difference in the COX-1 genes from other species of diversely bipolium. COX-1 being a key enzyme in aerobic metabolism, super important genetic bits. The second alien planarian was what researchers first identified as Diversibipolium blue, since it is a bright iridescent bluish green except for a grey head. These guys were found in Mayotte, a French island off the east coast of Africa in the Indian Ocean. They were collected during the day under dead wood and leaves. These guys were not collected as part of a citizen science initiative, so it's unknown if they occur in people's gardens. They were given the new species designation of Diverse Bipolium maotensis due to where they were found. This new species is considered non-native to Mayotte and possibly arrived there with humans from Madagascar. 
The research team found, through genetic analysis of the blue worm, that it belongs to a group that split off from the rest of the Bipolyanae flatworms a long time ago. This means it's quite genetically distinct from the black H. covidum species, but also every other genus and species within the same subfamily. This species could therefore be important to understanding the evolutionary history of hammerhead flatworms. Both of these new alien planarians are teeny little creatures, only about an inch or three centimeters long. This may explain why they have remained unknown for so long. They're just hard to see. That's particularly apparent when compared to the massive 15 inch, 40 centimeter lengths these animals can reach. Wish there was a video of the blue one. I bet it's pretty when it moves and shimmers in the light. All hail the worm. For more interesting stories about nature, the history of life, or what goes bump in the night, subscribe, hit the bell icon for updates, like this video, and drop a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Special thanks goes to my elephant tier patrons, Thea Svensson, Staniforth Hopkins, Dinosaur, Chris Frampton, Biotaverse, Arda Bayer, and Christoph Hubbinger, as well as my Tyrannosaur patrons, Iron Bladesman, Henry Brennan, Danny Van Heck, and Dana Manchester.